Today, I'd like to explain what is a mode connecting patch cable. Let's take a look. Here is a standard duplex SC multimode patch cable. And here is a mode connection patch cable with SC connectors. So what is the difference? First, there is a single mode fiber which has a yellow jacket on the mode connection patch cable. Second, there is a splice portion which is a single mode to multi-mode fiber offset splice. Just for your reference, orange jacket typically means multi-mode fiber. And the yellow jacket typically means single mode fiber in the fiber optic industry. So why do we need it? Well, the reason is to support 1000 base LX gigabit Ethernet over multi mode fiber. As defined, 1000 base LX supports both multi mode fiber and single mode fiber. On multi mode fiber, it supports up to 550 meters. On single mode fiber, it supports up to 5 kilometers. Because it works with both single mode and multi mode fiber, it uses a single mode laser LED source. And the combination with the single mode laser source with multi mode fiber cable plus a long fiber run that's up to 550 meters produce a problem which is called differential mode delay. Let's take a look on the problem. Traditionally, multimode cable is designed to work with LED light source. LED light source has very wide emission angle. So it stimulates many different modes inside multimode cable. This is called overfill launch. The laser light source, especially single mode, it only stimulates a couple, a few modes in the multi-mode cable. This produces a problem. So let's see how light travels. We have a light pulse emitted by the LED light source. It travels along different paths inside the fiber cable. Because they travel that different path, the pulse has different delays when they arrive at exit. But still, they overlap to each other because there are so many modes. However, on a laser light source, they also follow different mode paths inside the multi-mode cable and arrived at different times. But because there are so few of the modes, in the worst case, the paths on the exit end may not overlap to each other. One single path becomes two separate individual paths. This will cause error on the receiver side. This is especially serious when fiber length is over 300 meters. So what is the solution for that? The solution is pretty simple. On the transmitter side, you use a single mode fiber and then fuse it with, together with a multi mode fiber. However, the fusion is not center to center. The fibers has a precisely controlled offset. This offset emulates a LED light source. When laser is transmitted at offset from the center, it stimulates much more, many more modes in the cable. This emulates the LED light source, which is overfill. So this solved the problem of differential mode delay. There you have it. A mode conditioning patch cable with a single mode fiber and a cable offside splice. So when should we use it? When you have a multi-mode cable run that is over 984 feet or over 300 meters, you should use mode conditioning patch cable. For length that is shorter than 300 meters, you can omit this patch cable. However, there's no problem if you use it. Another important note is you should always use mode conditioning patch cable in pairs because you have both sides of the link. Each has a transceiver. The transmitter on side 1 links with the receiver on side 2. And the transmitter on side 2 links with the receiver on side 1. Both ends need mode connecting patch cable. You cannot just use one. 
you need both, one on each end. So there you have it, a simple explanation of mode connection patch cable. If you have any questions, please go to fiberopticsforsale.com, and we would like we would be very glad to help you solve your problems. Thank you.